everyone. It's JT going. All right, so this is the first week we're going to be looking at um, the concept of what is society. So this is our first ever lecture in contemporary society. It's going to be the best lecture you've ever had in your life. Uh, this is my friend Ducky. Anyway, so we're going to start off with the question of what is society. Now this is a really difficult question to ask. And next we're going to be looking at it, why do we study societies? But we're going to start off, as I said, with what is society. And like I said, it's a really, really hard question to, to it's a really hard question to answer. And the reason it's really hard is because there's no such, there's no such, there's no idea of one single type of society. <laughs> Okay, so have you ever eaten an apple? Mmm. The thing about an apple, right, is that a good apple, you know what a good apple is. When I say a good apple, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're talking about something that's kind of green or red and hard, not too hard, moist, not too moist, ripe, but not overripe. If it's flowery, it's like, yeah. But if it's not flowery and it's perfect, you know what a good apple is. And 20 years ago, or 30 years ago, or even 50 years ago, everybody knew what a good apple was. It's a similar type of apple. Obviously not the same apple, but it's a similar type of apple. And in 20 years time, or 50 years time, or 100 years time, a good apple will be exactly the same thing. It wouldn't be any different. Obviously not the same apple, a different apple. But the thing about societies is that societies change over time. They're very different. The society that you live in today is very different to the one that your parents grew up in. Like 50 years ago, there was no such thing as Facebook, there was no such thing as you know, as mobile phones, smartphones, no one had a personal computer, nothing like that. So the world has dramatically changed over the last 50 years. And we can only imagine what the world would look like in 50 years time. Things that like even five years ago seemed unimaginable, right? Like an iPad, and you got one of those, an iPad, you know, they didn't exist five years ago. In fact, they were like this kind of fantasy thing, right? They were only on like bizarre movies. And the society has changed so much that now, right, everyone's got one. Well, not everyone, but most of you have got one. So that's the thing, right? So this is the thing about studying societies or what a society is. It's something that changes over time. And that's why it's really hard to study societies. Now, what we need to know is that societies are made up of two things. Alright, okay, societies are made up of two things, like these two little ducks. The first part of a society is actually the institutions that make up a society. And then there's the government. Then the government, like things like the government, the institutions, universities, hospitals, police, all those types of institutions, even prisons, the army, all those things are certain types of institutions. But then we have private institutions like the businesses and the corporations and you know the TVs and the media and all those types of things. That's the first type of thing that makes up society. Now, the second type of thing that makes up society is like the people and the relationships inside it. So the different people and how they interact. So these are the two dimensions of society we're going to be talking about in the lecture. The, the, the institutions and the people. And the question is, different societies, every society has institutions and people, but they vary, and they vary significantly. And the question is, is how do they relate to each other? Sometimes people get along, and sometimes they don't. And that's what it is, that's one of the things we're going to do about societies. We're going to understand why sometimes we get along, and sometimes we don't. So, I can't do a lecture like this, this is ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, so the thing is, right, is that in the lecture we're going to start breaking down this idea about how different societies are made up and how they change over time and why they change over time and sometimes why we get along and sometimes why we don't get along. And that's why we study societies and that's also um, trying to define a society, which is a really, really um, difficult thing to define. So what you should do now is make sure you do your readings, go to your tutorial, go to your lecture, make sure you say hi and I'll see you in class. Bye. -bye.